What's going on, music creators? It's your boy, Fly Guy J, and I'm back with another video. It's Wavy Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's time to check out another Waves plugin. If you're new to my channel, every Wednesday, I drop a new Wavy Wednesday episode where I review a different Waves plugin and show you how you can use it in your recording session or your music production session. If you're interested in learning more about mixing and mastering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notifications of future videos. Today, I'm super excited because if you haven't heard already, Studio Rack is back. Finally! God, what was it gonna take? The new Studio Rack plugin is compatible with your Waves version 11 plugins, and it comes with some new dope features like multi-band splits, parallel processing, and macro knobs that allow you to use all of your plugins in a very quick and efficient way. You can use the Studio Rack plugin to create your own unique plugin chains and then save those plugin chains as presets and pull them up in other sessions very quickly, which will allow you to not only capture a specific sound and plugin chain, but quickly pull that up in another session and save a bunch of time on mixing. Let's open up a Pro Tools session, throw the Studio Rack plugin on a track, and take a closer look at how powerful and efficient using this Studio Rack plugin can be in your workflow. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I've pulled up a Pro Tools session from an unmixed, unreleased song that I produced featuring two members from the It's Just Music group here in Rochester, New York. And what I'll do is I'll loop LJ's vocals. We'll throw the Studio Rack plugin on the aux bus that I'm sending all of his lead vocals to. And I'll show you how you could use this to create your own vocal chain and save it as a preset that you can pull up in another session. So in my edit window, LJ's vocals are on this LV track and this LV2 track. In my mix window, you can see that the only effects I have on the vocals right now are the Auto-Tune Pro plugin, and all of the vocals are being routed to this Versus aux, which I've set up right here. Currently it has nothing on it, but we're going to change that. So to start, I'm going to be using the multi-channel version of the plugin because I'm going to be using some effects that have a stereo effect. So we'll go to multi-channel plugin, effect, and then we'll scroll down to studio rack. So this is the studio rack plugin. Looking at the interface, you can show just the rack. You can show just the macros, or you can click the all and see everything. For this demonstration, let's keep it on the all view. So let's say for this lead vocal, the first thing I wanted to do was to add some subtractive EQ. What it will do is we'll click on this plus sign. We'll go to the EQ section, and we'll find the EQ that we want to use. Let's use the F6 RTA. So we'll low pass everything below 100. And then let's use a shelf EQ. Reduce it, let's say 2 dB. And we'll tweak this to taste. My bad J, I'm in my mind too much. I be growing up my head cause I can't find what to cut. I be smoking out this green cause I can't find no luck. But I'd rather have my mind and my career on stuck. And I ain't really trying to fuss. Maybe that's just how I feel. I done lived every word. Promise you can check the real. And I never stay still when my lanes is big. All right, so let's say we're satisfied with that. If you want to hear the before and after, all you have to do is turn this blue light on and off. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They Bypass. Stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine. I thought it all be so simple. I thought we was better. Off. Let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But on. I'm starting to see this. So another cool thing about the Studio Rack plugin is if I wanted to keep this window open, all I have to do is hit this little pin button in the top right corner. And now this plugin screen will ch will stay open. Now let's say after we did the subtractive EQing, I wanted to go ahead and start compressing the vocals. We'll add a second plugin to the chain. Click the plus sign. Let's go to dynamics and for this example, let's use the R compressor. Let's just use a stock preset. Let's see. 
we use this vocal rap preset. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine, when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. All right, let's say we're satisfied with the compression. Again, if we wanted to keep this open, we could click the pin button and move it to the side. Now let's say we wanted to use an EQ as an additive EQ to boost certain frequencies. So we'll go to the EQ. And let's pull up the Waves SSL EQ, SSL channel. And to save some time, let's go ahead and let's just load up this uh, lead Vokes preset. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine, when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to sit my cup for rover, think and make me slip and waste it. My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much. I be growing out my hair cause I can't find what to cut. I be smoking out this green cause I can't find no luck. But I'd rather have my mind and my career on stuck. And I ain't really trying to fuss. Baby, that's just how I feel. I done lived every word. Promise you can check the real. And I never stay still when my lanes is big wheels. I've been working out so I can pedal over big hills. Now let's add a de -esser to take care of some of those harsh syllables and the S sounds. If you're unsure which category the plugin that you're looking for is in, you could always just start typing de -esser, and your de comes up. We'll use the R de -esser. And again, let's load a preset and let's go to Mal DS Split. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine, when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to sit my cup for rover, think and make me slip and waste it. So I like the way that sounds. We'll leave it alone for now. And the next thing we'll do is we'll add some saturation to the voice. So let's go to harmonics and let's try this Abbey Road saturator. Take a look at the presets. Let's see what this vocal stressor sounds like. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine, when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to sit my cup for rover, think and make me slip and waste it. My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much. I be growing out my hair cause I can't find what to cut. All right, so I like the way that sounds. We've added some character to the voice. Now let's help this vocal pop even more in the mix by using the R Vokes plugin. R Vokes. And again, I'll use a preset. Let's do lead vocal. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine, when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to sit my cup for rover, think and make me slip and waste it. My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much. Now let's say we're happy with the EQing, the DSing, the compression, and now we want to go ahead and add some effects to the voice. What you can do with the Studio Rack plugin is you can hit this plus sign and you can go to Parallel Split. And this allows you to split your audio and send it to separate channels. So for track one, we'll leave it alone. But for track two, let's say we want to add in a reverb. We can go to our reverb plugin. 
Let's go to this Abbey Rhodes plates. And let's just choose a vocal plate. And you can hear that we have reverb now. So you want to change the level of the reverb, you can play with this slider here. Now let's say we want to use a second reverb as more of a dramatic effect. We can hit the plus sign again. We'll go back to the reverbs and we'll use a different reverb. Let's go to the H reverb. Let's load up, uh, let's see, large hall. We'll tweak the size, the time. Make it like three seconds. Let's lower this down. And then we'll blend it in. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team. I'm talking no invitations, just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to send my cuff a rover, thinking, make me slip and wasted. My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much. All right, so that's a, a lot of reverb. One thing you could do is we could uh, clean it up a little bit. Let's add an EQ after. Let's go to the, we'll use the F6 again. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team. I'm talking no invitations, just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. And now we filter out some of the lows, some of the highs, and that reverb is cleaner and it's not muddying up the mix as much. All right, now let's say we wanted to add some delay in here. We could go plus sign again. We'll go to delays. Let's use the H delay. Let's set it to a quarter note. Let's do a ping pong delay. Change the feedback down some. Turn the analog off. We'll use these filters to filter out some of the lows and the highs. Let's take a listen. Simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations, just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to send my cuff a rover, thinking, make me slip and waste it. My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much. I be growing out my hair because I can't find what to cut. I be smoking out this green because I can't find no luck. But I'd rather have my mind and my career on stuck And I ain't really trying to fuss Baby, that's just how I feel I done lived every word So this button here is to flip the face It's always a good idea to hit the face button On things like reverbs, delays, doubles And just see which one sounds better Sometimes flipping the face can make it sit better in the mix Alright, now let's go ahead and add a doubler in here Again, we'll hit the plus sign We'll go to, I believe, doublers and pitch shift. We'll use this doubler too. Let's load up a preset, basic doubler. We'll turn off the middle direct signal and we'll just use the side channels, the left and the right. And let's hear what this sounds like. We'll lower it down and we'll blend it in. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to send my so like cup over thinking, make me slip and wait. Now, the way this signal chain flows, is it starts top down. So starting with this F6, through the compressor, through the SSL. Then when you get to the parallel split, the signal is rerouted through one, and then it comes back to the parallel split and continues down. Same thing, it's split to two, comes back to the split, and then down. So each of these tracks 
returns back to this parallel split line. And then any plugin that you place after the parallel split will be affecting the sum of your parallels. If we wanted to solo just one of these parallel splits, all we'd have to do is hit this S button and it would solo that track. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining. I thought I would. So that way you could solo it and tweak that specific we channel to your liking and then Start mix it back in with the rest of the splits. Another cool feature about the split rack is you have the option to hit this W button, which is basically a S1 imager to change the width of each one of these splits. So let's say we wanted our doublers effect to pan out further and be wider in the stereo imaging. If you click this and you drag with your mouse, you can make this wider. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They adding stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. Or you can make I it mono. Building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my So you can hear how wide the doubles got by increasing the width with the S1 stereo imager. You could do the same thing with your reverb and your delay. If you wanted to make them sit wider in the mix, you could tweak those knobs. You could also change the panning left and right. And you can change the orientation and have the center offset to the left or offset to the right. So as you can see, these controls allow you to create some very creative and complex plugin chains. Now let's toggle the bypass on and off so you can see what we started with and where we ended up. We'll start with it off. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They added stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building. Let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team. I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting. Talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to send my cup for rover. They can make me slip and waste it. Now, as you can see, for the sake of this tutorial, I wasn't paying attention to how loud my vocals were getting after each plugin that I've added. During a normal mixing session, it's always important to level match before and after the plugins that you use so that when you bypass your plugins on and off, like I just did, the volume remains close to the same. That way you're hearing a true representation of if your sound is actually getting better or worse. A lot of times what happens with music is if you hear something louder, it tricks you into thinking that it sounds better. So keep that in mind when you're mixing and building these vocal chains. Another cool feature about this new Studio Rack plugin is that you can now turn any plugin into a multi-band plugin. You can now use multi-band splits by going here and hitting this multi-band split, and you can split the audio into frequency ranges and apply different plugins to each frequency range. So for example, you can hit the plus sign, and now we've created four different frequency bands. Band number one would be affecting everything below 92. This one would be affecting the low mids between 92 and 545. This one would be affecting everything between 545 and 4000. And this last band, we'd be affecting everything above 4000 Hertz. If you wanna change the value of the band, you simply slide up or down, or double click and type in a value, say 2500. And what we can do is we can click the plus side, add in an effect, let's say harmonic, uh, what's this distortion stop? Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they added stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations. Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation. I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations. Man, I need to send my cup for rover, they can make me slip and waste it. My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much. I be growing out my hair cause I can't find what to cut I be smoking out this ring cause I can't find no luck But I'd rather have my mind and my career on stuck And I ain't really trying to fuss Baby that's just how Let's I feel Let's make the distortion wider lived every word Promise you can check the real And I never stay still When my lace is big wheels I... 
Let's move the multi-band split above. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They added stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine. We thought it all be. I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations Man, I need this in my cup for Rover, think and make me And the last new feature that I'll show you guys is the macros function You can create up to eight different macros here And then use these macro knobs to control specific parameters in any of the plugins that you have in your chain. Let's say we wanted to use macro number one to control the frequency that we set our low pass to and our subtractive EQ. So we'd hit this plus button, we'd go to our EQ, and we choose the parameter, which is the high pass frequency. So what this allows you to do is you can be listening back and as you're listening, you don't even have to open up the F6. You can just use this macro knob to control that parameter. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They added stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building. Let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. Pretty dope. You can hit this edit button and you can tweak the range of each of the parameters even further. So for example, we could say, we never want this frequency to go higher than 2,500 Hertz. So now if I go back and I pull up that F6, at the minimum it's at 16. And when I have it all the way up, it's only gonna go up to 2,500. You can rename the label for the macro by double clicking and typing in the new name. Let's say we wanted to call this high pass. Let's say our second knob, we want to control the amount of compression. Click on the plus sign. We'll go to our R compressor and we'll change the threshold. Let's say we wanted our, our minimum to be negative six and we want our maximum to be negative 24. Now when we control this macro knob, you can see the threshold changing from negative six all the way to negative 24. Let's change the name of this to compression. Our third knob, let's make that control the brightness of our SSL EQ. High frequency gain. Let's say we want a minimum of zero and we want a maximum of nine. Now you can see it's going from zero to nine. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They added stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine when thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building. Let the knowledge fall down and trickle. So you can see how by setting up all these macros, it can allow you to quickly and efficiently get to the sound that you want to get and also put in some control so that you're not overkilling the use of these plugins. Let's call this brightness. Let's set up a macro for our reverb. We'll go to parallel split, rack number three, and we wanna automate this slider. Parallel split, rack three, output. And let's say we want that to be anywhere between negative 34, and negative eight. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They added stress on my temple. I thought I was genuine. We thought it all be so simple. I thought we was building. Let the knowledge fall down and trickle. But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle. I'm riding around with my team. I'm talking no invitations. Just G. And we'll rename that to reverb. Let's use number five to set up the delay. So that's rack four, output, call it quarter delay. For the delay output, let's go from negative 24 to zero. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself. They added stress on my temple. 
I thought I was genuine, thought it all be so simple I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations Just geniuses connecting, talking so much We'll set one up for the doubler Parallel split The doubler is on rack 5 Output Right now we have it set to negative 6 so let's make the limits from negative 18 to zero. Yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself, they added stress on my temple I thought I was genuine, thought it all be so simple I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations Man, I need to send my cup for overthinking, make me slip and waste it My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much I be growing up my hair cause I can't find what to cut We'll make one for the saturation which is on rack 2 Parallel split Rack 2 Let's edit this to say Negative 18 to 0 yeah. I'm tired of explaining myself They added stress on my temple I thought I was genuine, thought it all be so simple I thought we was building, let the knowledge fall down and trickle But I'm starting to see this business is just so fickle I'm riding around with my team, I'm talking no invitations Just geniuses connecting, talking so much innovation I'm tired of fixating and curating these relations Man, I need to send my cup for overthinking, make me slip and waste it My bad, Jay, I'm in my mind too much, in my mind too much. And the last one we'll use for the r -Vokes. Now let's say for the r -Vokes, we wanted to control the amount of compression, plus we wanted to control the gain output. You can assign multiple parameters at once. I'll show you how to do that. We'll click the plus sign for the r -Vokes, compression. Let's change the values from a minimum of zero compression to, let's say, negative 13. And then we'll go back, we'll hit this assign button. We'll select our R Vokes again. We'll pull up the R Vokes. We'll select this gain knob and we'll hit assign. And now you can see there's a second parameter of the R Vokes plugin that we're controlling, which is the gain. So let's say for the gain, we wanted to start at zero and end at negative 10. When I move this r -Vokes knob, you'll now see the compression level changing and the gain knob changing. So it's going to start at 0, 0. And then it's going to increase to the upper limits that we set of negative 13 dB for the amount of compression and minus 10 for the gain. You could also set it up so that the gain won't change until the knob is turned a quarter of the way. So let's say 250-ish would be about a quarter of a thousand. And now when we go back to the r -Vokes, we'll set this to zero, and the gain should remain at zero, which it is, until we get a quarter of the way, and then it'll start increasing towards the maximum that we set. So again, hopefully you can see how powerful these macro controls are and how setting them up properly could really speed up your mixing workflow. All right, so boom. Let's say your plugin chain is set. You got your macro set up. And now you want to save this as a preset. You can go up here to the save menu. You can put it into the preset menu as. And let's call this wavy vocals. Wavy vocals. Click OK or hit enter. We'll close this. And now let's say we wanted to use this preset on the hook as well. We go and we load up the Studio Rack plugin. Now we'll go to load. And there's our Wave Evokes preset we saved. 
boom, all that work done for us. The plugin chain is loaded up. Our macros are set up. And now we can play that hook back and start tweaking our macro knobs to get the sound we're looking for. And if there's something that we can't control by the macros, we could always go back in and adjust specific plugins if we need to. Or we could add on a different plugin for the hook. Maybe we wanted to add some movement in here and use a flanger. Let's say the meta flanger. We could throw this on for the, the chorus section. And we could even save this new preset as wavy hook. Another tip is if you wanted to delete a preset on Mac, you can simply hold down the command button, click the load, and then instead of loading, it will give you the option to delete. And now that wavy hook preset is no longer existing. You can use the Studio Rack plugin to set up vocal chains. You can use it to set up uh, plugin chains for your music production. For example, I could have a, a plugin chain that I use on my 808s. I could have a plugin chain that I use on my entire drum bus. I could use a plugin chain that I use for the melody section. I could have a plugin chain for my master bus. I could have a plugin chain that I use just for ad libs or background vocals. I mean, the possibilities are almost endless with what you can do with the new studio rack. The only thing missing from this plugin to make it the ultimate rack plugin would be the ability to use third party plugins that are not made by Waves. For example, the ability to allow me to come here and load up my AutoTune Pro plugin or maybe a Decapitator plugin by Sound Toys. If they were to add that functionality, this thing would just blow everything out the water. But I will say as someone who is a heavy Waves user, I truly appreciate Waves finally releasing an updated version of Studio Rack. Not only have they allowed you to use the newer versions of Waves plugins in the Studio Rack, but they've added dope features like the parallel split, the multi-band split, and the macro functions. And I am not lying when I tell you I am one happy camper and I will be using Studio Rack in every single one of my recording sessions, my mixing sessions, and my music production sessions. And I highly advise if you guys use a lot of Waves plugins that you download this free plugin and start creating your own custom plugin chains and macro controls so that you can speed up your workflow. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can get notifications of the next Wavy Wednesday video and more. Keep your eyes out. I do have some more giveaways on the way. Shout out to the previous winners of my Loop Cloud 5 giveaway and my AutoTune Pro giveaway. If you guys have any specific Waves plugins you'd like me to review in the next Wavy Wednesday episode, Drop a comment and I'll add it to the list. Thanks again for stopping by the channel. Until next time, keep learning, keep creating, and keep grinding. I'm out.